Um, in this lesson, we are going to have this login work. So, but for now, you can see when I tap the password is visible to everyone to see. Um, let's not do that. So I'm going to change this by saying password field tag. And if we refresh the screen and now it is um, not visible anymore. So that's what we want. So let's, um, when we fill in this form field here and the password is I believe um, example and example. And if, if you're not sure, um, what you want to do is go command and P and seeds. And this is what, this is where we generated the initial one. And that's what I've have here. But um, if that has changed for you, what you could do is say rake db drop and rake db migrate and rake db seed. So we are dropping all the database, re-migrating it again, and then re uh, reseeding all over again. So uh, this is a good idea just to make sure. So when you reset, you should have it there or restart your studio, it should be there. When we click on login, we expect this to go to our sessions controller and to the create method. And we know this because when we say rake roots, it gives us all the roots in our application. So here we have the login, uh, which maps to sessions new. And we have our admin sessions, which maps to the sessions create. Okay, so admin sessions is here. We've used it in the view. So we've used it as admin sessions underscore path. Okay, so it comes to this method. So let's see how um, we can make sure that's the case. So if we say uh, by bug here and save our work and then come over here and click on login, uh, we expect this to hang and no, it didn't. Um, I haven't spelled by bug properly. So it's by bug, that's it. All right, so let's do that again. Come over here and enter the password and click on login. So it hangs as we expect. And then we'll go into our terminal command line and we can see here by bug. So we have this method uh, params, um, parameters um, here. And we also have the key params username gives us the username and then params uh, password gives us the password. Okay, so we have that and type C and enter to continue. So it gives us a missing template, that's fine. Um, we don't need a template for that, we don't need a view. So what we want to do is um, start by declaring an instance variable. Then we say the moderator model um, find by is a class method that we can use to find a particular moderator. So to have a look, uh, if you come over to the guides and click on query interface. Down on this page somewhere, we have um, a method called um, client.findBy. So we give it uh, a named argument and then a value, and it will find that value for us from the database. So that's what we're doing here. So find by user username, and then we'll give it a username which is passed from the params. So find this user, okay? And then we want to uh, make sure that this is authentic, authenticate, um, authenticated. Um, so we authenticate it with the params that's sent from the password. So this method authenticate uh, is given to us through moderator model here. So this has secure password um, gives us that. So what we're doing here is we're saying find a moderator and when you find that moderator, we're chaining it and we're saying authenticate that moderator and make sure that the password matches the username in the DB. So let's um, leave by bug as it is and come back here and see if we can inspect that instance variable. So I'll start with a, a wrong password. And over here, I can say moderator.inspect. So it says false. So this means that the username and password did not match, did not authenticate. And if we try with the correct password, example, and click on login and come over here, and we say 
just your up arrow and enter and we'll see that it finds a moderator so it works so our authenticate did work so now we want to be able to uh, save that moderator to um, a session something called a session so every time you visit a page on the server the server doesn't actually remember who you are sessions allow us to persist this um, detail so we can save that current uh, moderator on your local machine so every time you visit a new page the server can validate that you have logged in so that's what sessions are used for and that's what we're going to do here so just um, below here we can create a new session address by just saying session and we'll give it um, a, a symbol which we can name whatever we want but it has to be unique uh, so we don't mistakenly overwrite it in the future so we'll call this current moderator ID and then we save the moderator ID into it so this session is a way to store information on our machine which we can then use to validate ourselves every time we reset the page so let's see here to continue and then give this a go and sign in over here with the password example login and then go over here so we'll copy this session and then we'll inspect and see if it's actually in here so paste it here and enter and we can see one is printed here so it has the value one and one is coming from our database for our one moderator that's this id here so it works okay so now that we have our moderator type c and enter to continue um, we don't need um, the buy bug anymore so this basically concludes um, this lesson we have learned about sessions so um, over here we have current moderator is going to use the session to to find the moderator and log in so we'll work on that in the next lesson but re-watch this video if you need to read about sessions uh, they are quite interesting and we are going to use them um, a fair bit in the future um, that concludes this lesson i will um, see you in the next lesson